I mean, I, I think every day, you know, you have to feel blessed to, to work with uh, a great head coach, you know, first and foremost, and, and Coach Cal, someone who, who takes the time to, to mentor the, the people on the staff. Uh, I think he's reached out, you know, to, to me and really, you know, tried to, to help me. Uh, and I think every day I'm, I'm grateful for that. But, but not only Cal, I mean, I think it's Robes, I think it's Kenny, it's Tony. Um, everybody here is, you know, here on, on, a, on a big team. And I think it's, it's also, you know, a blessing to, to work with such great kids, you know, that we've had in the, the two previous years and in this group that we have right now. Um, you know, you, you wake up energized and you, you feel like this is, you know, almost a, a little bit of a dream. But, um, but I thought that, you know, the day that I came here, you know, working with, with Cal and um, being able to learn from him uh, watch him in different settings um, and really just, you know, take copious notes on, on what it takes to be successful. Um, so it, it's, it's one of those things that you just kind of wake up every day just, just extremely blessed. He's talked a lot about, you know, looking forward and getting involved earlier with younger recruits and prospects, and I know you spent a lot of the spring and summer doing that. It, it, to you, is that job number one? Uh, right now is to is to help sort of set the foundation for and, and get in some of those living rooms uh, early or get in front of some of those kids early. Yeah, I, I think the, the, the best thing for us is to, to try and identify guys that, that see Kentucky as the ultimate destination for them. If, if this is a place that um, they see as themselves maybe being fit for, um, that they see, you know, Coach Cal as someone that they – want to, to trust it with their development. They see our staff as someone that, uh, as a group of people that, you know, they are going to trust to, you know, with their future. I think we need to identify that, and that's something that I, you know, I think is, is probably at the, the top of my to-do list every day. What Joel, is, go ahead. Until five years ago, if I would have told you all this was going to happen, would you look at me and say, are you ready, man? I mean, I didn't know you five years ago, so <laughs> I, 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 I don't know that I would have said you're out of your mind, but, um, I think in the game of, of basketball and the game of coaching, I think you, you want to, I want to, you know, always be in a position um, where you're helping, you know, kids have a great experience. As a player, I had a tremendous experience, and um, I loved being a high school coach. Hmm. Uh, I wouldn't have left being a high school coach if it wasn't the opportunity to come work for Cal. If Cal would have been the head coach at Kentucky State, I would have left to go work for Cal at Kentucky State. It had nothing to do with, with the University of you know, Kentucky. I love being in Kentucky. I love being at the University of Kentucky and what this place is, but it's about John Calipari and, and what I felt he could do for me um, and what he's done for me has been, you know, tremendous uh, in every role that I've been in. As you grow as a coach, what's your strength and what is something that you say, you know, over the next two, three, five, ten years, I want to get better at blank? I think the, 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 the strength is, you know, just, you know, being a trustworthy person. Uh, that cares uh, about the kids, about relationships, that, that really, like I said, wants to help provide uh, a tremendous experience, you know, for, for a young man, for his family uh, here at the University of Kentucky. And uh, I think something to, to grow on, I, I think, you I mean, holy cow, I mean, you, you work, you know, for Cal and, and you see uh, and you listen uh, and the, the things that he does on the court, the things that he does off the floor. Um, I've learned so much in, in every role. You know, you're always growing in, in, as a basketball coach. You know, that's the one thing that I think that that I want to do is always be in a position here to grow. You mentioned well, taking. Just, how did you meet Cal? Uh, my father was the sports information director at UNC Wilmington when Cal started there, um, and they stayed in touch. Uh, I interviewed with Cal when I was at Elon and he was at Memphis. And uh, as a long story, I'm, I could tell you another time, but uh, basically said, uh, you know, he flew me in and said, oh, you know, I'm not going to hire you for this job, but I want to get to know you. Um, maybe down the road, I'll hire you. That's really cool. So I guess whatever that was, that was 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Yeah. You mentioned taking copious notes. What, what's the biggest thing or some of the biggest things that have you've learned from spending, you know, two plus years with Cal? Uh, you know, I, I think the biggest thing that, that, you know, I've learned, you know, in, in, in basketball wise is, is just the daily preparation, you know, for, for basketball, for basketball practice. Um, 
taking a look at you know how he plans a practice. I mean, obviously, I was a, a head high school coach, so I spent six years planning my own practices, and then to to go back and you know learn you know a, a different way. Um, other than the, the way that I've been doing it or the way that the coaches that I had played for had done it, um, you know, has been fun. Um, and I think off the floor, just the um, forward thinking, you know, cutting edge approach to, um, to recruiting, but also, you know, building a, a brand, uh, I think is, is something that is, is fascinating uh, to have, a, you know, a front row seat.